So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD. thank you for joining me where today I'm going to be showing you a very quick and easy guide on how to unlock the bow and arrow weapon in the Eisen Drache. It's very, very easy and I'll be showing you exactly how to do it. Now around the map there are going to be these weird dragon head statues. Now when you kill a zombie underneath it, this will actually unleash a dragon out of the stone and it will start eating up zombies. Now there are three locations in total on where these dragons are going to be. The first one is just in this room where it will lead you towards the power there'll be a ton of signs in the courtyard when you're going up around the balcony you'll open up into this weird area which has a bunch of computers and in the back of that room you'll find your first dragon head now it seems like the dragons take around about 12 zombies in total in order for them to be completed but you need to kill zombies around it quite slowly as it eats the zombies one at a time now once you've completed this you'll know because the dragon head will then turn to stone and then crumble to the ground. The next location we're going to be going to is actually on the opposite side of the castle itself and this will be if you take the right side of the spawn and go out and open through the castle gates. This dragon head will be floating above a door which will lead you down to the undercroft section. Again killing 12 zombies will complete this dragon head for you and the final dragon head is actually down in the undercroft right in front of this shrine towards the gatekeepers with the weird pyramid in the middle. Once you've killed 12 zombies zombies under that the dragon's head will crumble to stone and then you should hear a little character quote in this time I heard it was from Richtofen and that's when you know you've completed it now in order to get your bow and arrow you want to go and lead the path that I do in this video and actually go through the undercroft there'll be a little tunnel up some stairs and there'll be a weird kind of coffin with a knight on it and then behind it will be this weird box with a bow and arrow floating there for you and this is actually where you can see the progress of each dragon head because when you've done this you'll have all three of these dragon heads lit but you pick up the bow and arrow and you'll have yourself the wrath of the ancients it's its own primary weapon that shoots 60 explosive arrow bolts and there is a way to upgrade this as if you press back you can see that the wrath of the ancients has four of its own ritual type things so i have a tutorial on my channel on how exactly to do that but thank you for watching guys if you enjoyed this video and found it useful hit that like button and i'll catch you on another video very very soon